which teams can turn their fortunes around and save the season in their Super Leagues. Hello guys, this is the What If League and today we're doing episode 11 of the Super Leagues. If you haven't seen the previous episode of the series, please make sure to do so in my channel or to check the, the links that will be provided in the description below. Especially important would be to check episode number one where I'm explaining the concept of the Super Leagues, which teams are participating and uh, what are the rules of the competitions. Now let's begin our overview of the past three weeks. We are going to cover the period from 14th of January until the 2nd of... Uh, uh, apologies, until the 4th of February. We're starting with Super League 1, where Real Madrid are still leading the way with 50, 52 points, which is 5 more than 2nd place Arsenal and 6 more than 3rd uh, place Manchester United. Real Madrid have been leading almost the entire time so far. Manchester United and Arsenal are trying to chase them, but uh, apparently the, uh, the Los Blancos are not really making a lot of uh, mistakes and they're not allowing the competition to gain positions behind them. One level below in the Super League 2, we see that we have a new leader. Valencia have now overthrown Monaco at the top of uh, Super League 2 with uh, 50 points against their name, which is one more than Monegasques and three more than Brazilian Santos. At the bottom of the table, we still find Corinthians, Atletico Mineiro and Ajax. They haven't yet been able to climb up the table, although Ajax are continuing to accumulate more points. And in the last set of fixtures, they have actually beat they have actually beaten Atletico Mineiro uh, away from home 1-0, which was a six-pointer game and a very important victory for the Dutch team. In Super League 3, top of the table, we find Hoffenheim with 52 points, two more than Borussia Mönchengladbach and six more than Turkish Besiktas. So Besiktas, after losing their head coach to Bayern Munich uh, in the previous weeks, are now slumping down the table and uh, they're not really managing to keep up the pace of the leaders from the German Hoffenheim and Borussia Mönchengladbach teams. This is quite unfortunate for the Turkish uh, giant. At the bottom of the table we find Chivas, Feyenoord and Cruz Azul. Cruz Azul are not uh, accumulating any points at the moment and they're sinking without any trace. This is very, very concerning for them and I think they would have a lot of trouble this season, probably not going to make it out of the relegation zone. Super League 4 is currently being led by Tigres with 52 points, which is 3 more than 2nd place Spartak Moscow and uh, 4 more than Real Betis. It's a very competitive league here. We also see that uh, Newcastle is with 47 points, Southampton with 46, and they're all really close to the leaders. At the bottom of the table, Re Red Bulls, Augsburg, Pumas and Anderlecht are in the relegation zone. Red Bulls, Augsburg are only one point behind 17th place Krasnodar and are really close to safety. So it will be interesting to see if they manage to survive after accumulating some points along the way. So far, they have not really been able to do so. In the lowest division of the Super Leagues, which is Super League 5, West Ham are still leading the way with 45 points, which is one more than Sabdoria, three more than Stoke, and then we have Genoa with 41, Malaga and uh, Racing Coupe with 40 each. In the bottom of the table, Bordeaux have climbed up uh, the ladder here and are now in 17th position. Atalanta, Internacional and Pachuca are the three last place uh, team in, teams in the Super League 5. Just to remind you, this division does not have any relegation, so those teams are not really going to drop down even uh, lower, but on the other hand they're going to be stuck in this division for a while which is going to hamper their opportunity to climb up uh, the division table and uh, eventually reach the top division of uh, this experiment. Switching our attention to the cup competitions, the Super League Cup had uh, one set of fixtures that, was, that were the quarterfinals, they were played on the 31st of January and uh, Arsenal eliminated Monaco while Bayern Munich lost at home to Atletico Madrid. Napoli were eliminated by Juventus and uh, Sao Paulo lost at home to Manchester City. Before we finish this experiment, let's quickly have a look at the job center. We see that uh, Internacional and uh, Fluminense have lost uh, their head, head coaches and are currently looking for new managers. They're the only two teams that are uh, really doing that. So it's, uh, it's interesting uh, how are they going to perform. We can see that Internacional are in the 19th position, but they're in Super League 5 where there is no relegation. On the other side, Fluminense are in, uh, on 9th position in Super League 3, 
they're not really challenging for the top spots, but they're also not really concerned with relegation at the moment. Another thing that would be interesting to see before we finish uh, this episode are the transfers that happened in the January transfer window. So in Super League 1 the top transfer is PT from Benfica to Bayern Munich, you can see for 40 million pounds this transfer happened on the 10th of January. We also have jo Jonathan Tad joining Arsenal from Bayer Leverkusen, Jordan Henderson has joined Barcelona, this is a very very surprising uh, transfer. Julian Brandt has joined Arsenal from Leverkusen, so we have two transfers on the same uh, axis here, Leverkusen Arsenal. Who else? We have Alejandro Gomez, Stefan De Vrij uh, to join Barcelona. Alejandro Gomez has joined Tottenham. We also have Stefan Savic from Atletico Madrid who went to Chelsea. Victor Wanyama from Tottenham to Chinese Guangzhou Evergrande. And Ricardo Pereira from Porto to Dortmund. Anthony Lopez from Lyon to Real Madrid. Who else? Lars Tindel from Borussia Mönchengladbach has joined Tottenham. And so on and so on. You can see which transfers here have happened in the January transfer window. I'm just going to quickly scroll down to see if there is something else that uh, catches my eye. We see Philip Ox, but this is uh, no, this is a, a summary transfer, so not interesting. Raul Albio from Napoli has joined Guangzhou Evergrande for eight million pounds. Not a really expensive transfer, but Albio is not a young player anyway, so probably makes a lot of sense. Thiago Volpi from Queretaro has joined Paris Saint-Germain uh, in this January transfer window as well. Marcos Rojo has been sold to another Chinese team, Shanghai. Andrea Ranocchio has joined another Chinese team here. Very interesting turn of events. You can see that uh, a lot of transfers have happened in Super League 1. Quickly going through Super League 2 as well. Let's see who else is here. We see Anthony Lopez, we already saw that. Florian Andone has joined Zenit from Deportivo La Coruña. Marlos from Shakhtar to a Chinese Guangzhou Evergrande. So a lot of uh, players have joined the Chinese league, uh, apparently. Ivan Ordez from Shakhtar has been uh, purchased by Tottenham. Wagner has joined another Chinese team. Very, very interesting turn of events here. We see that the Chinese teams are really, really investing heavily in their, in their uh, football squads. Super League 3 and the transfers here, we saw those on the first uh, in Super League 1 already. The players joining Arsenal from Leverkusen, they are the highest transfers in Super League 3 as well. So quickly going through this list to see something interesting. What, what has happened? A lot of players have uh, changed teams apparently. We don't have that many players being bought by the Chinese teams here in Super League 3, which is interesting. Going down to Super League 4, Facundo Roncalia is one of the top transfers. He has joined Guangzhou Evergrande, so again here we see that uh, the Chinese teams have been active. Younes Belanda from Galatasaray has also joined the Chinese team. Another uh, big transfer here. And finally, let's have a look at uh, Super League 5 and the transfers there. Alejandro Gomez, we already saw that. Vladimir Darida, this one was also on the first page. Andrea Petania from Atalanta has joined Roma, Yoshi Yoshinori Muto from Mainz has been transferred to West Ham and Leigh Griffiths from Celtic to Stoke. A lot of interesting transfers here as well. If you want to see something in specific, the transfers of a specific team, let me know and um, I can focus on them in the next episode. Alright, I think that's enough for this video guys. If you haven't seen the previous episodes of the Super Leagues, leagues please check uh, the videos in my channel or the links that I will be leaving in the description below. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already, that way you're going to receive notifications for when I upload new videos. In the meantime, you can check out my social media, uh, links will be listed in the description. Let me know what you think about the Super Leagues and this episode in specific, I would love to hear from you in the comments. Once again, thank you for watching, until the next time, bye!